Hey guys, I am here with Vic and we are getting ready to go offshore. We haven't gone on my boat in quite a while, but... A long time. Yeah, it's been a long time. So we've been all over the place doing different things, but we are finally going out on my boat today. It is a really nice sunny day. It's so a hot. hot day. It's so hot. It's mm -hmm. like... It's like the peak of summer in Florida right yeah, now. Yeah, it's really hot. So, and there's no wind, so it's going to be a hot day, but we're going to try to do some snapper fishing and hopefully we get some good dinner. <laughs> We're gonna get a catch and cook for you guys. Yep. That's the plan. That's the plan, so stay tuned. <laughs> is ripping we've been trying to catch bait for like a minute we've had the chum out for only a couple minutes now and we already have six bait and the valley who are so solid so solid yes. Got him. So I'm using this nice 5-0 circle hook and I'm using some 30 pound leader. So far, where's your sponsor? Alright, valley hoop plugs all around. My dad is getting a bite. Is it small, you think? Maybe too small to swallow it. There it goes. There he goes. There he goes. Woohoo! See on? Oh. Yep. Yeah, you got him. Enjoy it. <laughs> Get that mutton up. Let me get some of these out of your yeah, way. Yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. What? I'm gonna... I told I told all my friends that after eating your mutton snapper the other day, the way you cooked it, that the next time out, I wasn't even going to talk. I was just concentrate on catching mutton. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get the leader. Oh, oh yeah, baby! Yes. Legal mutton. Coming up. First beat job, down. You got him. I'm telling you, bro. That's that's because of that good dinner you cooked, man. I was concentrating on that bite. I guess we don't need to move, do we? No. Oh, I told you <laughs> this was a good spot. Look at that. First beat down. Boom. We got him. Nice one. You're on, Vic? Let's hope it's a big mine. Yeah, that's a nice fish. I don't know, but it's pink like the mine. What's in it? Is it good? It's a mangrove. Ooh, oh, massive spawn. mangrove. Mangrove spawn. Huge. Whoa. No, that is a giant that's mangrove. A that's a nice, nice That's what mangrove. rocked you up. That is a nice one. Yeah. Looks like someone's getting a bite. Yep. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? I've seen it. That was a good run. I was tightening the drag a little bit because it's really loose. Oh, I'm definitely on. Oh, I'm so on. Put in here. Real tight. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, it's a zero. Flip him in. Watch out. Meat. Meat. We are so little mackerel. So this is our second mackerel. Two mackerels, a mutton, and a big mangrove. Oh yeah! I'll help you with your long ass leader. <laughs> We're fishing a 40, 40 foot leader over here. <laughs> That's a nice one. Yeah, boy. All right, here we go, here we go. Later. 
Oh yeah, it's definitely a mutton. Is it legal? I can't tell yet. He's under the boat. Here he comes. We got some meat in the boat. Here, I'll help you. Reach. This one might be legal. This one's pulling more. He's digging. Oh God, oh God. Yellow oh, it's tail. a yellow tail. It's a nice yellow tail. Brooke, you're slacking. Yeah. That's a fat yellow tail. He is yes. fat. That's a, that's a big yellow tail. Mm -hmm. That's a nice one. Yeah. Oh, that has a big plug I put down there. You can tell it's in his belly. His belly is fat. <laughs> I'm like this and oh, you're getting a bite. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. If you let it go, let me know. Yes, it's hooked up on the other side. Nice. This is a good one. <laughs> this is a good one. It's pulling line. Oh god, it might have just gotten eaten. Oh yeah, I think it might have just gotten eaten. Or just mm, oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely got eaten by a shark. I had a mutton. Oh gosh. We are getting spooled. <laughs> you might have a cove or something on that. I don't think so. Well, I'm on. I locked my drag. Oh my gosh. This shark got eaten by an even bigger shark. It's doing some strange head shakes. Okay, there goes all the braid. Now we're down to mono. Oh God. So I'm fighting a shark and these guys just caught a rock. Twice. Vic, show us the rock. <laughs> wow, it's a big one. Woo! Dude, this thing is not giving up. Okay, we're gonna get spooled. Oh, finally the hook just finally just pulled. All right, so this is what we ended up catching yesterday. We got in kind of late, so we didn't fillet them last night. So we're gonna fillet them now, and then I'm gonna go in and make some mutton ceviche. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So like I said, I'm gonna be making mutton ceviche. And ceviche is something that's different, it's fun, and it's great because you can make it really however you like. So let me start out by showing you what you're gonna need to do this. So here's my fish chopped up in nice small pieces. I have some celery, lemons, limes, tomatoes, onion, red pepper, yellow pepper, cilantro, and one jalapeno. I might not use all of this yet. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to see as we go along. So ceviche is one of those things that people are either going to love or they're gonna be too afraid to try because they think they're eating raw fish, which technically through the process of the lemons and the limes, the citrus actually cooks the fish. It's not like cooking with heat, but it does actually cook the fish. But you still wanna be careful when you're filleting it. You wanna get all the bloodline out. Make sure, definitely make sure there's no bones left. And you want small bite-sized pieces. So this is my fish that I cut up. It's nice and white and pink. No bloodline at all, nothing red, nothing. Make sure you get all the skin off, everything like that. One thing about ceviche is it takes a long time to prepare because you have to chop up all your ingredients into small pieces. So what I'm gonna do first is after I cut up all the fish, I'm going to add the juice of the lemons and limes to start the cooking process. So the key to doing this is you don't want to get any seeds in there and you want the level of the liquid to be even with the fish because you want every piece of fish in that lemon and lime juice so it can cook. So at this point I've added three lemons and three limes and you can see the fish is level with the liquid. So that's what I was looking for and you can tell that the fish is already starting to become clearer and whiter. And I have more lemons and I have more limes because once I add the vegetables and the fruit, the level's gonna get higher so I'm gonna have to add more liquid to make everything level. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put the fish in the fridge for now. Okay, 
Okay, so now for the fun part of cutting everything up. Now you want everything into small pieces because when you take a bite, you don't want a giant chunk of onion and like one piece of fish. You want to take a bite and have a little piece of everything in there so you really get to try what it tastes like. So that's the key to really my ceviche. If you like big chunks of stuff, then go for it. Don't chop your stuff up so small, but I like everything nice, finely cut. So when you take a bite, you get a little bit of everything and it's just that much better. <laughs> My mom helping me cut up some things. She's cutting up the tomatoes. Good job, mom. Another good thing about this is if you don't like something, you don't have to add it. If you don't really like celery, then don't put celery. If you don't like red peppers, don't put the red pepper. So you can really kind of do what you like and make it cater to yourself. So I just took the fish out of the fridge and it probably took me like an hour to cut up all the fruit and the vegetables and it's already looking really white. And now I'm gonna add everything to this bowl. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to my fish. Now I'm gonna add all my chopped up ingredients. So here's the celery, onions, here's the red pepper and the yellow pepper, here's the tomatoes, the jalapenos, the cilantro. Now I'm definitely going to have to add more juice to this because my um, liquid level is very low. So I'm going to have to definitely add the rest of my lemons and limes. Alright, so here is the finished product. How good does that look? And it smells so good. Now ideally, I would like the juice level to be even with all the ingredients, but I didn't buy enough lemons and limes, but that's okay because it's really close to being perfect. If you like your ceviche hotter or not so hot, you can skip out on the jalapeno or add Tabasco to make it hotter. But this is kind of like a medium heat. So you can kind of change it to however, however you would like to do it. Give this recipe a try. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. This is what I did with the rest of the fish. If you guys want to check out this recipe, I'll link it down in the description below and it'll also be on the screen. What the? Now that was user error. <laughs> that was user error. That was, um, what did you just do? Did they call somebody that does that on the pier? A, a Googan. Googan. <laughs> in my day, it was a turn. Uh, you know what happened was the FG of the 50 pound got caught in the guides.